I put vegetables in all my food to stop my roommate's kid from eating it. Mom threatens legal action. I 26 female live in a rented house with a single mother 30 female and her son 6 male. I had another person living with me, but they moved out and the mother moved in. I don't mind living with her and her kid. It's fine and we kind of do our own thing. I spend a lot of time at my boyfriend's place or working. Our work schedules collide so we really don't interact much, but when we do it's fine. No issue there. I want to start with saying that she clearly struggles financially, but I don't think it's an excuse. I don't make lots of money either. However, I've noticed that my food would go missing or portions would be taken from it. I assumed it was her kid, so I asked her if she'd stop him from eating my food. I was calm about it and she just said she would. It didn't really upset me when it first started. It started getting annoying when I'd get home from work and expect to have a meal's worth of leftovers in the fridge only to see it picked through or just gone. I kept bringing it up and she started getting annoyed with me bringing it up. Just from observing them, I realized that neither of them ever eat vegetables. And judging by the food that would get picked through and the food that would be untouched, anything with green in it was avoided. Orange chicken would be gone, but chicken and broccoli would be untouched. So I started putting vegetables in everything. I find vegetables to be delicious, and anything green or not a potato does not get eaten. So I could mix some bell peppers into the food, and it would be fine. I make a big portion of vegetables pretty frequently anyway so I just started putting it in everything I eat. If I had leftover mashed potatoes I'd pour green beans in and mix it up. If I had leftover cheesy back and fries I'd pour broccoli all over it and mix it in. Usually my homemade stuff has vegetables in it but I started making sure everything did. I made a pot of mac and cheese the kids favorite thing and poured in roasted brussels sprouts which is actually delicious to me, and I'm eating more vegetables so it's a win-win. She had been seeming annoyed, but we were all home when I made the pot of mac and cheese. She was in the living room and saw me get out the Brussels sprouts and was like, what are you going to do with that? And I poured them in. She said I was being greedy and annoying. I just said, I like Brussels sprouts, and that was it. She said, we need food, and I told her to go get some. Or stop buying only pre-packaged things and your money will go further. I think she sees this as some big act of revenge, but I just simply want to be able to eat my food. Also want to add that the sharing is not the issue. It's expecting to have food there and it's not. So often I'd be working a long day and get home expecting to have a meal's worth of food and it all be gone. Or I wake up in a rush and had my food ready to eat in the morning only to find it gone. So now I have to skip breakfast. If she would simply text sometimes, hey, is it okay if we eat food item? I would know and know to make other plans. I would stop for food or no, I have to whip something up when I get home. Also, I think eating the last of someone else's food is crazy and rude. If someone makes a big pot of something and you ask for a serving, sure. But if someone made something and there is one serving left and you eat it without permission, that is evil as H. From the comments, you can't buy prepared food with Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. This story is made up. Original poster, as someone who worked at a grocery store for four years specifically in the prepared foods section, you can buy cold prepared foods with government assistance. And sushi counts as cold foods. I've rung so many people up using it to buy $15 sushi. Update. So I have been steadfast with putting vegetables in everything. I've put vegetables in things I've never even thought of. This has carried on and the mom calls me a jerk but will not verbalize that she is eating my food. She just sees me making a lasagna and adding celery and bell peppers in the layers of fumes off to the side. The only thing I can't add vegetables to is snacks like chips or if I bake brownies or cookies. However, this is easily remedied by putting baked goods in a Tupperware and keeping them in my room. Same with chips. As I have previously stated the sharing is not the issue. Recently the kid knocked on my door and asked if he would have a bag of microwave popcorn. I said yes and gave him one. All of this would be way less annoying if she just text, hey can I have some of this, and waited for my response before just helping herself. I do feel for the mom because she clearly struggles with cooking and trying new foods. She is older than me and winces at the thought of biting into anything green and it is spreading to her kid, but it's no excuse. A few days ago, I was making taco meat out of ground beef, and like usual she was looking without looking. 
She was off to the side watching my every move but trying her to look normal. I made a dish the day before that involved sautéed mushrooms and cut up peppers, so when the meat was almost ready I opened the fridge and she freaked when she saw me holding the mushrooms. She said, son's name hates mushrooms, and I just poured them in the pan and mixed along with the cut up peppers. This caused her to react in a way I'd never seen from her before. She was yelling and stomping around the kitchen while the kid just watched. Felt bad for the kid to have to see his mom like that. People were worried about her tampering with my food. I don't think she's the kind to do that, but if she did, I would report that right away. She was flipping out, but she didn't snatch my food or knock anything over. She was opening and slamming cabinets, and it was all very silly. Then she started going off about how she is going to get the authorities involved. I just told her sure, and that she needs to relax. She seemed genuinely upset and stressed, and I told her that I understand being a single mom is hard, but she needs to use her government assistance more responsibly. She'll come home with cold mac and cheese, sushi and chicken from the grocery store prepared foods and blow all of it on that. I suggested food pantries and buying ingredients that last a while like potatoes. She said I was being condescending and I always have food to eat. This is to address the just make a portion of your food and set it aside for her and the kid. I do not make enough money to regularly feed two other people. If every now and then she asked for some of my leftovers, sure. But this is a consistent thing that was happening. It's not simple as giving her leftovers that I won't eat anyway. If I make a pot of something I expect to live off of that for the next few days. If it is eaten then my money is messed up and I have to go shopping again and budget for more food. Waste my time and money. From the comments, wow I'm shocked at the original poster and most of the comments, most of you have no idea what it's like to grow up poor and having to skip meals, whenever anyone is in my house I feed them adult or child, Here, original poster maybe teach the mother how to cook stuff cheaply instead of slating her and her kid. Most people would rather be and moan than help nowadays. Original poster, how hungry is someone that refuses to eat vegetables? I sincerely doubt that the year starving, and if she were my guest or my friend, I could offer food. But this is someone I live with, and I cannot afford to have a fourth of my income going to feed two other people on a regular basis. Like I said, if sometimes they ask, that would be fine. And I am not, nor do I have time to teach a 30 year old woman how to cook. I learned to cook by watching videos or reading online instructions. It's not that hard. Story 2 inconsiderate roommate wouldn't stop eating my food. I had a roommate years ago that always ate the food I purchased, and sometimes the leftover food I made. He always had an excuse like he was too tired to go to the store, but he would replace my food tomorrow. He never replaced my food. So I decided to be petty. I had a half gallon of milk that I left outside for about two weeks. I let it get nice and spoiled, then put it in the fridge. The morning after, my roommate decided to help himself to a bowl of my cereal and lost it when he poured chunky milk into the bowl. It smelled awful and had the most disgusting texture to it. The entire kitchen and living room smelled rancid. Of course I was the one to blame because I kept the milk past the expiration date. This one was my favorite. I simply took non-hard boiled eggs and put them in a container labeled hard boiled eggs. I woke up the next morning to him yelling and cussing as he stormed into my room and asked why I did that. I asked why it mattered how I labeled my food. He was sitting in the living room and tried to crack a couple eggs at a time on the coffee table. The raw egg got all over his hands, the table, and on the rug under it. This didn't stop him from taking my food, but it happened less frequently. I spoke with him several times about this, and he agreed he would stop, but he never did. He just told me what I wanted to hear and ignored it after that. From the comments, back in the 70s, I worked with a guy who would quit smoking every six months or so. Actually, he didn't quit smoking, he just quit buying cigarettes. He would bum them off the rest of us until we got sick of it one time. At the time you could go to the local flea market and butt cigarette loads. These were small pieces of stick doused in something that would explode when lit. So, all of us who smoked got some of them and stuck one in a specific cigarette in our packs. After about the fourth one exploded in his face, he'd start buying again. Original poster, I have heard about those, that's hilarious. There was always one or two people who quit smoking during deployments. All that meant was they quit buying cigarettes but wanted to smoke all of yours.